of the most important aspects of using software is being able to actually save. So that's what we're going to quickly run through today. Now to save an Ableton file, we simply click on file and go on save live set. Now what that's going to do though is it's going to save the, the current project in a folder that you've already set up. And if you've already set up, I don't know why you're watching this tutorial. So what I would always recommend is click this save live set as. So just like in Word or any other bit of software you've used, if you click the save as, you get a bit more control over where you're saving the folders to or files to. So I'm just going to come to desktop. I'm going to create a new folder. And we'll call this Ableton test stuff. And in this, it's now produced a new folder on my desktop. Now when I, I'll just name this one test, click save. And there we go, job done. So able and test stuff folder, double click on that. And you can see the test project file saved.